One of the great things about the Ashworth College community is that we have groups that correspond to all the different programs that we offer um, here at Ashworth. So whether you're in a business program, a criminal justice, a creative program, a healthcare, a technology, trades, any program that you're in, we have a group that's just for you within the community. And that's very important because we know as a student you want to you know, engage with the, with the general student population at large, but it's also very important to connect with other students who share similar academic interests and career goals. And you can meet those students, those classmates of yours, in the group. Um, right now we're at the home page of the student community and you will see a groups tab and it gives you a sampling of some of the groups that we offer here at Ashworth. To see all the groups, let's just go ahead and scroll down to the bottom where it says see all groups. And it gives you different ways to search for the groups. I always think it's easiest to search alphabetically. So I'm going to go ahead and click on A to Z. And it brings up all the different groups that we have here at Ashworth in alphabetical order. I'm going to go ahead and stop at this group just to show you an example of how to join one and all the different group features that there are. I'm going to click on the criminal justice group. It shows there are about 2,500 members as of today. So I'm going to go ahead and click on criminal justice. And I want to go ahead and join this group. So how do I do that? Well, I go to my green actions bar. Remember, the green actions bar is always going to be your way to, to create content um, within the community. You'll see all the different options here start a discussion, create a document, create a blog, create a poll, invite people to join. So anytime you actually click on the green actions bar and you um, do any one of those actions, it's going to be done on the group level. The first thing I want to do is to simply join this group. In order to give me an option, do I want to receive email notifications on new group activity? Well, since I'm a new student, I want to keep up with the group and everything that's going on. So I'm going to say yes and I'm going to join this group. Okay, and now I'm an officially a member of the criminal justice group. Uh, the setup is, is very similar um, to the rest of the community. Um, on top, you're going to look at criminal justice activity. So all the different activity that's going on in the group uh, will be displayed right here in the criminal justice activity feed. So you're seeing where a student replied um, to a discussion, one of our students commented on a blog, another student uh, wrote a blog earlier today. Um, it's, it's got some frequently asked questions. On the right hand side list the popular blogs in the community and also the most recent discussions. Over here under newest members we of course show the newest members and also the top participants in the group. So these are your group leaders. These are the students who have been very active in the group and we like to recognize those students um, through our top participants widget. Okay so let's look at the different kind of content that's offered in the group. As I mentioned it has almost 2,500 members. So that's really solid. When I click on discussions it takes me to all the different discussions that are going on in the group. And since this is a criminal justice group, all those discussions have been started or commented upon by criminal justice students, and they focus on criminal justice topics. Okay, When I click on the group blog, everything in this blog is going to be criminal justice related. Okay, So many of these blogs are started by Ashworth staff. Uh, many are started by Ashworth College faculty, and many are started by Ashworth College students who are in criminal justice programs. For instance, Rodney Gray, he's one of the top participants in the criminal just group, uh, justice group. Um, here he has a blog called Getting Even Versus Getting It Right. So all students that are a member of a group have the opportunity to, to blog for the group blog. And that's great because you're getting your content out there to other students who have similar interest, uh, which is criminal justice, and want to work in the criminal justice field just like you. And the same goes for any group. Okay, So these are some of the main features of the group. As I mentioned earlier, I think it's a good job to introduce yourself and kind of let students you know, know who you are. And a great way to do that is just to click on the green actions bar and click on start a discussion. Okay. And when you start a discussion, just give it a descriptive title. Um, so maybe to say, hey, I'm new to the group, looking, you know, looking to meet other students. And in the body of the discussion, just tell students you know, what you're all about. Maybe tell students about um, you know, what your background is, what brought you to Ashworth, uh, what are some of your academic goals in your criminal justice program, and then what are some of your career goals after graduating. It's a very simple and easy way to get in uh, contact with your classmates and also make some friends along the way. So. Those are the basic features that are in a group. I encourage everyone to join a group and to introduce yourself to your group by starting a discussion.